coming up on Mountain News this morning, a Kentucky elementary school honors a Marine who lost his life while overseas. And an Eastern Kentucky bakery takes first place in a contest all about business and innovation. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, 601 here. It's Monday. I'm Dakota Makris. I hope you all had a very fun weekend, relaxed weekend. I know I did. Let's take it over to Cameron for a look at our forecast this morning. Cameron, it's all calm out there, but that could change later today, but right now, smooth sailing. Yeah, it is a nice start to the work week. Temperature is mm -hmm. not bad, and we are looking at that clear sky this morning, but like you said, those showers are not far away. Here is a live look at Whitesburg. Current temperature sitting at 60 degrees under that clear sky, and most of us are waking up to those 60s, 66 in Pikeville, 68 in Prestonsburg, 66 also in Jackson, 52 over in Clintwood. Up on Pinpoint Doppler, a clean sweep as you walk out the door this morning. All is quiet, but there are the showers and thunderstorms that we are watching out for, and these will continue pushing into our direction. And because of that, the Storm Prediction Center has outlined the northwestern half of the area in a marginal uh, Level one risk of severe weather for your Monday. The threat is not huge, but there is a threat, and I'll have more details on that in just a little bit. Dakota. All right, Cameron, thank you. Well, a man was arrested Sunday after a dangerous police chase that started in Clark County and then ended up in Powell County. Well, this is cell phone video showing the crash as it happened. Well, this is on the Mountain Parkway in Stanton. You can see a red Chevy pickup truck crosses over the median and hits the officer's cruiser. The two vehicles hit again moments later before another officer is able to stop the truck in a ditch. Now, police say the man tried to run before he was taken into custody. An arrest citation states the chase started in Winchester, carried into Powell County. We are still working to learn what started the chase. A state and police officer say that another officer was taken, was hit, who was hit, was taken to a hospital for evaluation. Well, the driver of the truck is reportedly 30 year old Aaron Elliott of Mount Sterling. He faces a multitude of charges, including assaulting a police officer, evading police, uh, resisting arrest, among several more charges. Police say Elliott is currently being held at the Powell County Detention Center. A man was arrested last Thursday after being pulled over on the Hal Rogers Parkway. Police say Terry Hendricks of Wooten was pulled over for improper registration plates. In a Facebook post from the Leslie County Sheriff's Office, it says Hendricks was found with scales, a handgun, and 29 grams of meth, and he had an existing warrant in, warrant in Laurel County. Hendricks is being held at the Leslie County Detention Center on a host of charges. A jury awarded the former Chief Financial Officer of UK Healthcare $1.75 million saying he was wrongfully term fired after raising complaints to the university. Sergio Melgar was hired as CFO at UK Healthcare in 2004. In February of 2012, he raised several complaints, saying he should be making more. He was reportedly making roughly $50,000 less than similar positions at other universities. He was fired in August of that year. He filed a lawsuit in 2017, saying his duties were changed after the complaints. West Virginia Governor Jim Justice announced the West Virginia National Guard will send armed personnel carriers for Ukraine to use against Russia aggression. In a news release, the governor said the state is sending a number of M113 armored personnel carriers following a request from the Department of Defense. The vehicles are used to move soldiers and equipment while providing protection from small arms fires. Back in February, Governor Justice ordered the state to stop the purchase and sell of liquor produced in Russia. He also asked the West Virginia Retailers Association to remove Russian liquor from shelves. As April begins to wrap up, Kentuckians are taking time to honor military members. Sunday was Military Appreciation Day at Keeneland. This month is also the month of the military child. Shelby Lofton talked with the vet who personally knows what it's like to be a child of a service member. It's a month that we get to really focus on the needs of the military children, of the folks who serve. There are more than 1.6 million military children in the U.S. That's according to the Department of Defense. They have parents who are away training often, or there's multiple deployments. 
there's a lot of separation. Jeremy Harrell, founder and CEO of Veterans Club, Inc., has four children of his own. His military children move to a new location. Uh, they don't always get the opportunity to create those connections. We provide a space for them to be able to do that out at the farm with the horses. The Veterans Club uses animals to break down barriers. They really just allow us to practice our communication with one another and our body language. Harold said military children have to make sacrifices many adults wouldn't understand. I can't get too attached to uh, mom or dad because I don't see them a lot. Maybe, maybe they have to go and maybe they have to fight in combat and maybe they won't come back. He said because of their parents' service, their childhood may look different. So some veterans can't go out in crowds, right? Some veterans can't um, do certain things. Uh, it's heartbreaking to a child who wants to just go to the swimming pool, right? Or who wants to go to go to an amusement park or go to a movie. The horses are brought in to help build trust. We use horses as a segue in a conversation for healing. A month to raise awareness a lifetime to build support. Shelby Lofton, WKYT. Well, says if you know a military child, support them as much as you can. A Kentucky elementary school planted a tree last week to honor U.S. Marine Corporal Jacob Moore. Moore was killed during a NATO military training exercise in Norway last month. He also attended Ponderosa Elementary in Catlettsburg. Principal Brian Ehrenberg says watching the tree's path to fully grow teaches students a bigger lesson. They may be a little young to understand the war, but uh, a lot of them understand plants and how they grow and, and the fact that you need a solid root system in order for the tree to flourish. I want everyone to remember that you're walking on the same ground that many people have walked on before and you're going to go out in the world and, and represent yourselves and others and I think it's important to remember where you came from and, and uh, this will be a reminder of that for both the family and for our students here. The Moore family's history at the school goes beyond Jacob. His mother worked as an instructional assistant for nearly 20 years. The tree will be at its peak bloom every spring. Well, the 2022 Eastern Kentucky Leadership Conference is swiftly approaching, and one organization has led the way for folks looking to stay healthy, finding lifelong friends, or if they are just in need of a little assistance. WYMT's Jordan Mullins has more from the winner of the Eastern Kentucky Leadership Award for Organization and what this award means to everyone involved. From humble beginnings to state-of-the-art facilities. The YMCA started at the railroad up at Shelbyana in this area, but the railroad decided they didn't want to be involved with the YMCA and so we started a YMCA here in Pikeville. The Pikeville YMCA has offered folks in the region a place to get fit since 1996. But the Y is much more, building communities up with Christian values and a focus on living happy and healthy lives through many offered programs for any age. A lot of people see the Y as swim and gym. We're so much more. You know, we have three areas of focus, which is youth development, healthy living and social responsibility. While also reaching out to the community, feeding those in need, caring for children, and even more outside of the wise walls, but still making sure everyone has a chance to join in. We have a, a finance support system where we raise money to support those who cannot financially pay for the full dues. And it's based on a scale that the National YMCA sets. Giving folks a safe space to meet friends. I have met lifelong friends here from my year, young adulthood age that I'm still friends with now. That's something a lot of people don't think of in, in addition to be, being able to have a, a safe place to come and, and get fit and exercise. It's also a very social place. While taking care of fellow Appalachians. The whole premise of this thing is to take care of what the needs are. And um, we've done it, I think Hawaii has done an excellent job of doing that. We've had good people helping us all the way through. Putting in the work. It's just been a blessing for what we've been able to accomplish in our community by putting forth effort to help the young, the middle-aged, the adults, men and women. For the betterment of the entire region. The 2022 Eastern Kentucky Leadership Award for Organization goes to the Pikeville YMCA. The East Kentucky Leadership Conference is this Thursday and Friday at the Appalachian Wireless Arena in Pikeville. A business in Floyd County took first place in Invest 606's 2022 Business Accelerator and Pitch Contest. 
FTD Bakery is owned by Samantha and Trevor Stovall. The group was awarded $15,000 to help purchase new equipment for the business. They say any local business in Kentucky should take advantage of Invest 606's services. What Jeff has done with Invest 606 and all the donors is that he has created a learning environment of true mentorship and allowing you, you to reach out to people who know more about the field that, that you're currently in, and it's just wonderful. The bakery was one of 13 local businesses competing in the contest. To see the other winners, you can go to WYMT.com. Well, the weather is quiet as you walk out the door on your Monday, but some changes are just around the corner. Here is a live look at the London Corbin Airport. Current temperature sitting at 60 degrees, 66 in Jackson and Pikeville, 68 in Prestonsburg, 64 here in Hazard. Here is a look at pinpoint Doppler and satellite and radar. As you look over eastern Kentucky, we are dry, but over western Kentucky, there are the showers and thunderstorms that we are watching out for, and they will continue pushing into our direction. Another summer-like day is in store towards the afternoon hours. Highs in the middle 80s once again, and most of your Monday is looking dry. But as we get towards the late afternoon and into the evening, that is when we see the possibility for some showers and storms. I'll have your full forecast in just a little bit. Dakota. All right, Cameron, thank you. At the time of 612, when we come back here on Mountain News this morning, people living in the nation's capital experience a flurry of chaotic events. We'll have more on that in just a few.